guys, hope you're having a great day today. Um, I decided that I wanted to vlog today because first of all, look how adorable Linky looks right now. Linky! This has been his spot for the past day. Hi baby, you lost a whisker. That's a whisker. That's your whisker, isn't it? How you doing, Linky? You doing? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that has been his spot for the past three days. Seriously. He hasn't really moved. Um, but I'm so happy today. Um, and I thought, you know, I'm in a really great mood. It'd be a great time to vlog. But I'm super happy because today we put in our 30-day notice to move out of this place. Um, and I'm so excited and I can't believe it's actually happening. Um, some of you know, for those of you who don't know, oh gosh, I'm like, is my house dirty in the back? <laughs> Luckily we cleaned. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, we bought a house two years ago. No, one year ago. We were looking for a house for a year. We found the house, we bought the house, we renovated the house for a year, and then um, now we're finally able to move into the house, and I'm so freaking excited. Like, I have forgotten that we actually own a house because we've been living here for the past three years, and we were actually planning on breaking our lease when we first moved in here, so um, I'm so excited. I can't believe it's finally happening, and like, I feel like it's been forever, so. Uh, today, I, we actually have a lot of stuff going on. There's just, I've been kind of stressed lately. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go drive. I'm gonna go to the craft store, to the art store. I'm so excited, I'm going to the art store. Um, and I am going to buy some paints, some new paints. Look, okay, so I have my, I've been wanting to paint for the longest time getting back into my roots. And I finally set my easel up, got my paints out. But the thing about having an office is that you wanna do stuff at the office too. So I would take some supplies over there and then I would forget them there. And I was ready to paint on Memorial Day. We had a holiday um, on Monday and I was gonna paint the whole day and I didn't have some of my stuff and I couldn't find things cause this place sucks and it's so small and everything is really unorganized. So I finally set up my little easel and I'm ready to paint and then I didn't have my palette knife. So I'm actually gonna go get a palette knife and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna just, so here are my oil paints and I've had these, I've had these throughout my whole college career so here they are and this is the same little container that i used to take them into it's really handy actually it stacks and it closes and it's great um but i think they're kind of getting old so here are all of the oil paints i love painting in oils um and i haven't done it in a while and okay can i just tell you guys i'm sorry my mind is like all over the place right now i'm walking over here because the light is better the lighting is better. Anyways, well, look, I've done some re, re like furnishing, furbishing to the house. We got a rug, we got a coffee table, a new console table. It's a little messy. Been working out. You can see here for like the past two days, and I'm sore. Like you do not want to see me walking down those stairs. It is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, no. Um, what was I saying? I apologize if I am like all over the place right now because I'm just seriously so excited. Like I have been, I, what I'm really excited for, okay, there's so many things that I just don't like about this place that we're at right now. The walls are super thin. Like we can hear our neighbors having their conversations, you know, we can hear everything that goes on on the other side of the wall and um doesn't help that they're smokers and their patio is right next to our bedroom window so when they smoke it comes in the house and when we work out it comes in the house and then every single night like seriously every single night like at 12 30 1 o'clock in the morning they're out there smoking on the patio and i think they smoke weed 
I don't have anything against smoking weed. I mean, they can have like a medicinal card or whatever, but I think because they're smokers, they have like weak lungs or something, and they just like cough up a freaking lung for like 10 minutes, hawking up disgustingness right next to our bedroom window when we're trying to sleep. And it is so freaking annoying and I hate it so much and I just can't wait to get out of this place. So I'm so excited. Uh, not only, you know, it's like they blast music all the time. Our neighbors blast music. Our other neighbors are always like arguing and yelling and cussing at each other. And uh, the apartment itself is so hot. I'm sorry, I'm like pff, venting now. What is happening? As you guys can tell, I'm very excited to get out of here. And another reason why I'm super excited is because I felt like I haven't been painting as much as I want to. And I've really been wanting to do it and to have a space to do it. And I finally set up this little space over there. But um, I'm gonna get at the, at the house, I get to have my own room, my own craft room. And we are designing it and I, just we met with i love the container store i love containing my life and being organized it really helps so much with everything um but i uh we met with the closet they're gonna do our closet and they're gonna organize for us and she's gonna make my craft room amazing and i'm so excited and we've chosen everything for this house like every little detail guys i would uh, like going through this home renovation don't do it. <laughs> you, it takes up so much time and it's so stressful and I really wouldn't recommend, um, you know, we knocked down walls and we did like engineering and stuff. And it was our first time renovating so we had to, in, like, it was very, very nerve wracking. So I really wouldn't recommend doing that if you're thinking of buying a house. Hey Linky, what's up? Are you being lovable? <sighs> so yeah. I'm just excited to get my own freaking craft room, my own space. I already know, like, I'm gonna get, like, this amazing table and I'm gonna get a standing easel so I can, like, uh, paint a lot more. But anyways, that's another reason why I'm so excited. That's probably the most excited room I, I the, the, the most excited, the, the room I'm most excited for, um, for the house. So anyways, I digress. Back to my oil paints. Ew, there's like a pincher bug in here. You guys can tell, like, there's dead little corpses of insects in here. I haven't really used it very often. Um, but yeah, here are my oil paints. And I want to go buy some more. So I gotta look and see, like, like seriously, this is old. I need to write down what colors I need before I go. I just got so excited. So let me do that. It's my tiny baby easel. Okay. First time ever I'm vlogging and driving. But I have this like super handy hands free thing for the phone that I put into my CD thing because we don't use CDs anymore. So my camera just fits perfectly right there. Uh, it's kind of cutting my head off, but whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, now we are vlogging in the car. <laughs> um, but I'm on my way right now to Swain's. It's an art store. Um, there's two art stores that I really like here in LA. Uh, Swain's and Blix. It's actually called Dick Blix, which is like, it's so weird to me. I don't just, just call it Blix. Um, but yeah, no, these stores are awesome. I remember when I used to live with my parents, I used to drive out to them and it seems so far, but now super conveniently close to one of them. Uh, but not for long, cause I'm moving. Oh shoot. But luckily it's not like a super far move. I'm not moving to like another state or anything. Um, but we are so excited. We already have our move date uh, scheduled. Kind of nervous because we've accumulated so much stuff over the years. Um, yeah, I'm kind of worried about packing. I'm still not sure if I, I know that a lot of people are going to be asking for a house tour, and I'm still not sure if I want to. I don't know if I feel completely comfortable with doing that. Um, 
Just because, it, I mean, I did it at the last two houses I've lived at because I knew that those weren't going to be my homes. Like, it was just, you know, in the meantime, I'm living at these places. It wasn't anything, what's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't like a permanent situation. So, um, yeah, I'm still unsure if I'm gonna do like a full on house tour. Um, but I'm definitely gonna show you guys are so the cool thing about this house and the reason why we really loved it was because it's backyard is freaking amazing like I had no idea this type of place existed in LA and I've lived in LA my whole life um, but it's very foresty in nature and there's freaking deers that come and you can feed the deers seriously in LA like I I don't know I'm like living in a snow white world here but um, one of the main things that sold us on this house was there's, it's it's three floors. And the reason why it's three floors is because the owner who used to live there before, uh, they had like a patio that was downstairs and they converted it into a studio. So he used to produce music um, and he like worked on some really amazing stuff. Um, I won't go too into detail about that but like I was actually geeking out when I found out some stuff that he worked on so he was a composer and so they built a sound studio um, on the bottom floor of the house that was originally the patio and so we were like that's one of the main issues when we're recording videos is like man there's an echo or like at this current place we can't we can't you know yell because our neighbors will complain or we can't record at certain hours of the day or night um because the sound like both ways like they'll be blasting music and like we're loud at late at night so um that was one of the main things that sold us on the house was because we'd have like a super comfortable area to record our videos and we won't be disturbing anyone even when you know say i, I know red has been wanting that's really weird. My camera just turned off and it got too heated. That's never happened before. Um, but like I was saying, Red has kind of been wanting to make some YouTube videos himself and it's hard because we share an office and um, he can't really record stuff while I'm recording. He wants to do his own thing. Um, so I think this is really going to be great because there's separate areas. There's like multiple rooms in this freaking amazing studio so I'm so excited for this you guys have no idea and I, I definitely will show you guys our office like our home office studio freaking camera stop drooping okay the camera died because it overheated so I'm here we're here um but yeah no I'm not sure still not sure if I'm gonna show everything all right so we're in here and I'm choosing a palette knife Never had one of these. Look at pellet knights are. They are in demand, aren't they? So I'm at the brushes, and I kind of want to treat myself. I haven't bought brushes in a long time, so I think I'm gonna purchase some for oils, like these little guys. I think I want something like this. This one's a nice one too. I really like doing small detailed stuff. Hmm, the choices. Glorious paint aisle. So many choices. I normally go with Windsor. That's what I normally paint with. So, there's so many choices. It's been so long. Oh my gosh, the colors are so pretty. Like these purples. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna go crazy. Yeah, Scored 40% um, off. I guess, like, if you what? Paper. Love gamblins. Look at these pretty pastel colors they have. I've never tried these before. Radiant red. Ooh, I'm getting this one. These are pretty. Oh, so excited. All right, there it is. That's really gonna be expensive. We're also getting a palette and a canvas. Okay, I made it home. Um, I I forgot how much, I don't know what that was. What was that? I forgot how much 
uh, art supplies are. But I wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, I was guessing it was going to be like hmm, 200 bucks. Art supplies are always expensive. Um, but no, no, it was more than that. You can put your guesses in the comment section. Uh, but I'm really excited because I got some new brushes. So these are, okay, these are my brushes that I've had for the longest time. I've had them throughout college and they have seen better days. Um, so here are the brushes that I currently have. And I've had them on this little, like, this is like a little pencil display. Um, they are freaking so sad and tattered. Oh, hey, Red. Hi. Hey. My big old hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's the human thing. I'm showing nice. them, I'm showing them what I bought. Oh, what'd you get? You don't I even think? wanna know how much money I spent. Um, oh, man, I don't even wanna know. But look, uh, like these are just, these are not brushes for oils. And I got, these are ac acrylics. And I use them for oils because I didn't know when I first bought them. Um, like they were like synthetic looking brushes and I didn't know that you needed, you know, different brushes because the oils are harsher. So I bought, I treated myself and I bought some new brushes. I got, brushes are expensive. I picked up one that was like 30 bucks and I'm like, <laughs> nope, putting that back down. So here they are. I got five new ones. Ooh, that lighting looks blue. So these ones are, this was 38. This was the one I treated myself with. But I don't have one that's, it's, it's good for like, I guess blending and portraits. And I really like like the soft look that you can get with oils. This one is um, definitely harder, it was cheaper. And um, it's different. I, I don't know if these are synthetic. Listen guys, it's been a long time since I painted. And then these ones, I love doing small little details and I always ruin my tiny brushes. The small detail brushes that I have are just for acrylics. And um, as you can tell, this one is, you can't even see. It's really jacked up though. Um, and they're not meant to be for oils and I broke the rules. But I got some new brushes. And I got some paints, a lot of paints. So of course, my good old palette knife, couldn't forget that. So, the colors. Oh shoot. Whoa. Ah, so many. And then actually, oh That's this. That's a lot, babe. Okay, I bought this. I saw this because it was it's an all natural cleaner and it was by the brush cleaners, but it smells really good and I just thought of using it like for the house. <laughs> is, there, like is there like an all natural turpentine? No. Oh, and man. then I got this. This is art masking fluid and I've been wanting to do this with watercolor. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna like I'm gonna show you guys and I will show you guys when I experiment with this. But look at all the colors! The These are all colors that I either needed or didn't have, and I'm really excited to use them. Is this a new brand you're using? No, Windsor Newton and Gambl Gamblin, the ones that I use. Oh. Yeah. I awesome. never really ventured into anything else, but off to the office we go! Something very exciting is happening right now. I need to document this. Red is writing our very last check. For this place. For this place. A <laughs> very last check ever. <laughs> Checks are no longer in existence. This is the last time we're paying rent here. Oh, oh yeah. Next time we pay. I mean, we already pay it now, but we own it. Yeah. We own it. We own it. Exciting. Yeah. What? Guys. On Snapchat. Oh my god. Yeah. We're driving through a cemetery right now, Forest Lawn. Frankie and Lauren. Hello. Hi. We are, we don't come to cemeteries on our free time <laughs> too often, but we're coming to, it's a Disney Beauty and the Beast. Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. Beauty. Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. Did I just say Beauty? Yeah. Disney. That's because the Beauty and the Beast trailer just came out. So we're okay. getting all of our Disney's yes. views. We have Alice going on. There's just a lot. I'm really excited about this. This is his name already. His initials are so Real. Uh, oh, yeah. 
Irvindale. Do you know where you're going? This is huge. No, I just I've never been in here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait, the museum is that way. Yeah. That way. Look at this view. This is so much property. Look at this gorgeous Whoa. view. Seriously. Whoa. Property. This is crazy. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is I mean, really feel, like, peaceful being up here. I do yeah. feel very peaceful so here. Peaceful. It's quiet. We're all at peace right now, guys. Yeah. And we're surrounded by dead people. Oh. Look at this. But still Forget very peaceful. Still very peaceful. Gorgeous. Yeah, this I love views. it. Look at this. And the birds are chirping. I cannot, I did not expect it to be this huge. Yeah. I've never been in here. Yeah, my, uh, right here all along. my grandma's buried in one of these. Really? Not like this, this one, not this one. It's like another one. But it looks just like this. It's like a whole like... This is, this is kind of like a maze. Right? Yeah. This is so cool. Okay. We'll see you guys when we get to the museum. Erwin Earl, an exhibit Irwin of Earl. Disney of a Disney legend. It is so awesome here. So each piece has a poem that goes with it. So let's take a look at one. This one's really pretty. Let's see what. Oh my gosh. These are all so gorgeous. So there's this one right here. Look how freaking beautiful it is. Trees are like ballet dancers. Okay, I'm gonna read it while you guys look at the painting. Trees are like ballet dancers. Take a pose, some thin, some wide, and some in even rows. Place themselves so as to make a scene, a picture handsome, joyful, and serene. Gorgeous. They all have like um, like a glossy texture. Actually, this is one from Sleeping Beauty background. So here's one here. There's a lot of them right here. Sleeping Beauty backgrounds. Amazing. I didn't even. Oh my god. Look at this one. Now I just want to go back and watch Sleeping Beauty. I never, I mean, it was so long ago. I was like a little kid. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I can't even right now. This is beautiful. Like, look at the stippling. It's stippling. This whole thing is so pretty.